Hey everybody, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. This is Sew so Up Pro, and I want to show you how to use this to change your PEZ files to FCM. I got to remember where this is. Okay, I can't do it yet. Wait, yes, I can. Okay, come here to Application or op hmm, Options. Options applique cutter before you go anywhere. Set default folder for cut files. I choose to set it as E, which is where my stick is. Okay. If not, it's going to send it to um, where your actual applique piece is, and you're going to have to dig for it. I don't want to do that. So I set it as E. And let me show you how to do that. Okay. So I just pulled my stick out. Options, applique cutter. Usually it, it comes like this. So you do user defined folder, change folder. Okay, and it comes up. Well, I didn't put my stick in, so let me put my stick in. And <laughs> here comes all my safety stuff. Okay, so it's not showing there, so I'm going to click out, click cancel, click off of this, click back on it. And there it is, it popped in. So I click on that. Click OK. So there it's set. So now when I'm ready to save and all that good stuff, it'll go right to my stick. <clears throat> so let's pull something up here. So let's do, uh, yeah, we'll choose this little guy. Okay, and hopefully I remember how to do this. Okay, so let's see what this little one is. Yep, so this is our little first stitch. Okay, well here right here is your applique cutout. You can save it as it says, as a JPEG or an SVG. Well, of course we want SVG. That's what it looks like. So you can have JPEG and SVG checked. Uh -uh, I don't want to. Make sure you set your inflation factor. It can go from 1 to 1.20, and then save it. See, it automatically saves to where you told it to save in that options. If you did not change it, it's going to go automatically to this file right here. So you'll have to go digging through that to find it, okay? So let's go check in sure cuts a lot. Let me start that bad boy up. And we'll go check in sure cuts a lot to see if it's correct, which I hope it is. But with me, you never know. Okay, so here's my stick, and there's my little owl. Well, looks pretty good. Remember, I don't want to blow it up. I don't want to change the size because it'll change the size of my applique, and I don't want to do that. Yep, that looks pretty good. So we have success. So now I can just unplug my stick and take it right on over and cut because this is an SVG in all machines, excuse me, including the original scan and cut, if you've updated to version 1.7, can use SVGs. Granted, they take forever and a day to appear, but you can do that. However, because I am in sure cuts a lot right now, I can go ahead, come up here to file, file. Go to export. Here's my stick. Change it to FCM. And just type in OWL. And there it's saved. Okay. So that's how you go about saving your cut files in So What Pro. If you guys have any questions, you can find me over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. Thanks, guys.